hi so mates welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel in today's tutorial i will be sharing with you how to cut and sew this beautiful french skirt that was being worn by vicky james this is the one i recreated for myself if this is something you're interested in seeing then keep up watching and please don't forget to like this video comment on it and also share it with your friends this really helped my algorithm a lot without talking too much let us dive into the video these are the materials i'm going to be using i have about two yards of black tink crepe so whatever crepe material you're going to be buying make sure it is so tink and you can make use of any color of your choice and this one is called fringe this fringe is about eight inches long the one vicky james used on her skirts i think that should be about 26 or 28 inches long she actually used two type this short one and the long one the long one is quite expensive that is why i just decided to buy this shorter one so if you have money to buy the long one you can also buy so this is the one i'm going to be using this one is one pack but at the end of the day i ended up using two packs of french and extra two yards and even that two yards was not enough so i'm going to advise if you want to buy you should buy two pack and three yards of or extra four yards okay this actually depends on the length you're also making for yourself if you are going to be making a longer version of this sketch so you should be prepared to buy more fringe i'm going to be using my pattern paper to draft out the front part and also the back part of this sketch on my pattern paper as you can see i've gone ahead to mark out all the horizontal lines which i'm going to be explaining to you guys so on my pattern paper i went ahead to mark one and a half inch inward on this side and i marked a straight line across and this part is going to be serving as the sleeper allowance so after marking it i will go ahead and fold it in just like as you can see me doing so after i was done folding it in i went ahead to mark a straight line across this part which is going to be serving as the waistline then i went ahead to mark the hip point line so from my waist to my hip point line is about 10 and this a half hip inches. point measurement is different for everyone so some persons on might be 10 inches or 9 inches this depends on how tall or short you are so i advise you take your own measurement and know what work for you so after i was done with that i also went ahead to measure from my waistline to my knee line okay this part is very very important then i also went ahead to place my tape on the waistline and mark the full length of my skirt so this is the line of the full length of my skirt the next thing i'm going to be doing is to add all my body measurements so i will come to the waistline i will divide my waist measurement by four i will mark it on the waistline so go ahead and divide your waist measurement by four and mark it then after marking it i will go ahead and add one inch for sewing allowance then I also go ahead and add extra one inch for that allowance. So I'm going to be adding that to the back part of this skirt. Okay, I'm not going to be adding to the front and I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that. Then I will come to the hip line. I will divide my hip by four. Then I will mark it. I will add one inch for sewing allowance. Then I will come to the knee line. So I will minus two inches from my hip measurement. My hip is 44. 44 minus 2 inches is going to give me 42. So I will divide that 42 by 4. I will mark it on the knee line. So go ahead and minus 2 inches from your hip measurement. Whatever you get, mark it on your knee line. And whatever I mark on my knee line, that is what I'm also going to be marking on the uh, full length of the skirt. Okay, I hope that is well understood. The next thing I'm going to be doing is to connect all the points together. So remember I said I'm not going to be adding that to the front part of the skirt. So what I'm going to be doing is this remember i added one inch for journey allowance so i'll place my french curve on that one inch i added for swing allowance i will connect it to the hip line like this so this first line is going to be for the front then i'll go ahead and reconnect the that line the one inch i added for that i will connect it to the hip line like this so this second line is going to be for the back part of the skirt i just hope you guys understand then i'll go ahead and connect a slant line from the hip line to the knee line so after connecting it then i'll connect from the knee line to the full length of the skirt like this so after connecting it i'll go ahead and cut it out just like as you can see me doing after cutting it out i will go ahead and use it to cut out on my fabric so i will just go ahead and fold my fabric into two just like as you can see me doing then i'll place the pattern paper on it i will open up this zipper allowance i folded in earlier then i'll go ahead and pin it to my 
fabric so they have since the light i'm just going to continue like that so after pinning it i will go ahead and cut it out just like as you can see me doing after i was done cutting it i'm going to be removing the zip bulge from the back so i'll place my tape on this zipper allowance i will mark half inch outward then i'll just go ahead and connect it to any part of the pattern paper like this then i'll go ahead and cut it out this is to remove zip bulge from your skirt okay if you want your skirt to be relaxed at the back just go ahead and do what i did so guys my microphone is off so i'm just going to continue like that i just hope you guys enjoy this sound so i'm going to be folding this part in which is the zip allowance i will notch it on my fabric then i also go ahead and notch the damp parts on my fabric so this part is very very important so notch it so that you know where you will iron later so after i was done notching it i'll go ahead and remove the pattern paper like this after removing the pattern paper i'll just go ahead and fold in this zipper allowance then i'll go ahead and cut out this dart allowance i added because i'm not going to be adding that to the front part of the skirt i'll go ahead and fold my fabric into two and place my pattern paper on it then cut it out so guys i've gone ahead to cut it out then this is the back part of the skirt as you can see so i'm just going to open it up like this and fold in the zipper allowance i added okay i'm just going to fold it in like this and iron it so this is the reason why i said you should notch it so that you know the part you are going to be ironing so iron it to the back after i was done ironing it i will just go ahead and keep this one aside then i will turn this onto the front i will just fold it in like this so i'll go ahead and measure what i have around the folding okay because i want it to be um four inches wide so after i was done taking the measurement the measurement was okay for my dad so i'll just go ahead and iron it to the hem i will do the same thing for the other side i will iron it as well so i will take to the same machine and sew my dots so guys i've gone ahead to sew the dots for the back so as a fashion designer be it a beginner or a seasoned fashion designer you should know how to sew that i believe that so i'll just go ahead and pin the zipper allowance together like this after pinning it i will take it to the sewing machine and sew it from the start to the end i have gone ahead to sew it the next thing i'm going to be doing is to shape in the skirt so i'll just go ahead and place the front part on it like this after placing it i will pin the sides together just like as you can see me doing After I was done pinning it, I will go ahead and shaping the skirt. So in case you don't know how to shape in a dress, be it a skirt, a gown, a trouser, a top, this is a sign for you to join my beginner's online class. So my beginner's online class is going to be coming up before this month runs out. If you're interested, I'm going to be leaving my WhatsApp link at the comment section and also at the description section. Click on it to send me a DM and let me know that you're interested in the beginner's online class. So the class is just for 5,000 Naira and in that class, you're going to be learning how to shape in your dress, but that manipulation, how to remove zip bulge, how to draft, how to cut, how to sew, both gun, skirt, trouser, top, flayed dress, gather dress, all manner of dress. You're going to be learning it as a beginner in that um, online class, okay? so guys i'm done sewing it the next thing i'm going to be doing is to go ahead and fold the hem so i'll just fold it like this then fold it again i will take it to the same machine and sew it around i'm done sewing it so i will just come to the waistline which is this zip allowance at the back i will just lose it down a little you can see me losing it the reason why i'm losing it is because i want to wear it i want to make sure the skirt is exactly my size it is not too tight it is not too free so once you are done sewing it, go ahead and lose it a little bit from the waistline, that is from the top. Then wear it and make sure it's not too tight and it's not too free. Just make sure it's your size. So this is just me trimming out the excesses from the side because I feel like the allowance is too much. So guys, after I was done losing it, I went ahead to wear it and it's exactly my size. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is to go ahead and sew this fringe on it. So I'll just go ahead and place it on the waistline like this and determine the space interval between each um, point, like where I'm going to be sewing it on. So I'm going to determine the space interval between each step. Uh -huh. So after I was done placing it, I decided to make use of four inches. So I will place the tape on the waistline 
I will mark four inches downward like this. Then from that four inches point I mark, I will mark another four inches downward. Then I will go ahead and mark four four inches downward. This is going to be the space interval between each step, okay? So when it comes to the down part, the space is not up to four inches. So I'm just going to ignore that part. Then I'll come to this other side. I'll go ahead and mark the same four four inches like this. So after I was done marking it, I'll go ahead and connect the points together with a straight line. So just go ahead and connect it. After I was done connecting the points together, I will just turn it to the front and mark the same four inches at the front, just like as you can see me doing. So after marking it, I'll go ahead and connect all the points together like this. Another thing I want to say is this. You can go ahead and sew this fringe on your front part of the skirt and also the back part of your skirt before you join the skirt together at the side, okay? So it's not compulsory. You must join your skirt together or shaping it before you finally sew the fringe on it. You can go ahead and sew it on the front and also at the back separately. All you just need to do is to make sure the um, space interval you mark at the back aligns with the space interval at the front just make sure if you're using four inches it should be four inches if you're using five inches interval it should be five inches interval so this is the first time i am making something like this and from experience i'm just saying you can go ahead and sew it on the back and also at the front separately then later on you join the sides together it will make it very easy for you most especially if you're a beginner now that I am done marking it, the next thing I'm going to be doing is to go ahead and lose this zipper allowance I saw earlier. So I'll just lose everything. So I'm going to be doing that later. So let me show you guys what to do next. So this is my fringe. I've gone ahead to fold the tip. Just fold it in, okay? Then I will pin it on the gator line. Remember you ironed the zipper allowance and you even went to sew it before. So just go ahead and pin the starting on that gator line there then i'll go ahead and pin it around the waistline so the first step is going to be around the waistline so after i'm done pinning it around the waistline i will take it to the same machine and sew it around like just go ahead and stitch at the top just go ahead and sew at the top i actually filmed a video on how i was sewing it but right now i can't see the sewing clip on my phone i don't know if i mistakenly deleted it or I didn't click on record. I don't even know. I've been looking for the clip till now. I've not seen it. So I just have to edit it. So what I did is very simple. Just go ahead and pin the fringe on those four, four inches line you mark on your, on your fabric. Then go ahead and sew through it. Okay. Just go ahead and pin it on all the lines and sew on it. Just top stitch on it. Very easy. So what, um, just like as I told you guys at the beginning, the one pack I bought was not enough. As you can see, I've not sewn here. You can see these two lines are still left. So I'll be going to the market now to buy another pack. So I ended up buying one full pack and two yards, and it was still not enough. The reason why I went ahead to buy extra one full pack and two yards, two yards would have been enough for me to finish it up or three yards. But the reason why I bought extra pack was because of the fact that I was seeing through the fabric. As you can see, the fringe is not uh, like it looks scattered on the skirt. It's not as thick as I wanted it to be. I bought extra pack so that I can double the layer. And I believe if I double it, it's going to be thick. So I'm just going to be placing these pieces on the waistline like this. Okay, so if you want to double it, just go ahead and simply sew through the parts where you already sewed on before. So just like as I place this one on the waistline, okay, that is how you're going to be placing it on it and you will sew it. So at the end of the day, you'll be having two layers on one line. So guys, I've gone ahead to sew through all the lines and you can see how thick it is. Can you see how full the fringe is? So this is what I wanted. So what I'm going to be doing next is to go ahead and sew the zipper allowance at the back. So I'll just go ahead and fold the skirt like this. So once I'm done uh, folding it together like this, I'll go ahead and measure where the zip is going to stop. So I'm going to minus one inch for the band before I measure or before I mark the zip point. So this is where the zip is going to stop. I'll just go ahead and mark it. So once I'm done marking it, I will just go ahead and pin through it just like I can see me doing. So once I'm done pinning it, I will go ahead and measure four inches away from the down okay because i want the back to have a little bit of opening so i'll just mark four inches upward 
then I will pin that part. I will take it to the same machine and sew it from this point to where the zip is going to stop here. So guys, I've gone ahead to sew it and this is how it look like. The next thing I'm going to be doing is to go ahead and sew the waistband on it. This is the waistband I'm going to be sewing on it. So the wideness of the waistband is two and a half inches. Then I want to fold half inch in, okay, like this. Then I also want to fold half inch in or the other edge like this, okay. So the length of the band is my waist measurement plus extra four inches just to be on the safer side. So once I was done folding half inch on both sides in, I went ahead to fold the remaining one into two and give it a very good spread. So what I'm going to be doing now is to go ahead and sew the waistband on the waist part of the skirt. I will go ahead and open up the skirt like this. Then I also go ahead and open up the waistband like this, like the band. I will open it up. Then you see that half inch I folded in, I will pin it on the waistline. Then before pinning it, I will go out by one inch, okay, from the waist uh, zipper allowance. So if you check, you're going to see that the right side of the waistband is facing the right side of the skirt. So just make sure the right side are both facing each other. So I'll go ahead and pin it around. And I already have a detailed tutorial on YouTube on how to cut and sew a waistband. I'm going to be leaving the link at the description section. You can watch it for more understanding. So I will take it to the sewing machine and sew it around. So guys, I'm done sewing it and this is how it look like as you can see. So what I'm going to be doing next is to fold this part into two like this to the uh, right side facing each other. Then I will take it to the sewing machine and stitch the edge like this. Okay. Then I also do the same thing for the other side. I will fold it into two and stitch the edge. Once I'm done stitching it, I will cut out the excess. So guys, I've gone ahead to sew it. Then I will turn it to the front like this. So after turning it, I will just go ahead and use my scissors to trick it out at the edge very well. Then I will arrange it properly just like I can see me doing. I will go ahead and use the other half inch I folded in to cover the rough edge like this. As I am covering it, I will go ahead and pin it down. Okay, cover it and pin it down. So once I'm done pinning it, I will take it to the sewing machine and sew it through the front like this, through this line already. So I will sew through that part. And as you are sewing it, go ahead and use your hand to safeguard it and always check it so that you don't uh, sew on the wrong part. So guys, I've gone ahead to sew it and this is how it looks like. I'll go ahead and use my steamer to steam it down, like iron it. Uh -huh. I hope you guys understand. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is to go ahead and sew the zip on it. So after sewing the zip, I'll go ahead and use hemi gum to I'll go ahead and use hemi gum to secure the opening at the down. You can also go ahead and fold it and sew it. So guys, I have gone ahead to sew it. And when you are sewing your zip on it, you need to be very careful because of the fringe. So this is how it looks like. You can see how neat and clean the skirt is. So once you are done sewing it, go ahead and turn the skirt to the back and iron the zip allowance. Then go ahead and iron the side. So this is the end of the video. If you have any question, go ahead and ask. I will definitely respond to you. If you don't have any question, go ahead and leave your favorite emoji or your favorite comment. Don't forget to like this video and also share with your friends. This really helped my algorithm a lot. In case you have not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that anytime I post a new video, you'll be notified. So I'm going to be wearing this skirt and I'm going to be posting it on Instagram. So follow me on Instagram at Official Promoted Sandra. See you on my next video. Bye.